Hi everyone, I want to show you a kind of interesting example here. Now, what you're about to see is the Senate hearing on election fraud, and the person that's speaking is Christopher Krebs. Now, Krebs used to be kind of the relationship manager between Microsoft and the federal government, but more recently, and I, I think up until recently, he was the director of CISA. Now, CISA is the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, basically cybersecurity for the U.S. government. That's a pretty important role. So what I want to show you is this clip where he goes over an allegation and a report of election fraud. And it's on page 19. Or actually, it's on page 20. And it says, there is no permission to bracket zero bracket. And that is being claimed to mean that somebody tried to get in in the machine and wipe the records. And so I looked at that and I said, okay, I don't know if it actually says that. And something jumped out at me, having worked at Microsoft, um, that these are Windows-based machines. The election management system is a Windows-based machine. And the election management system is coded with a programming language called C Sharp. There is no permission to bracket zero bracket is a placeholder for a parameter. So it may be that it's just not good coding, but that certainly doesn't mean that somebody tried to get in there in zero. They misinterpreted the language in what they saw in, the, in, in their forensic audit. Okay, so what he's saying there might be a little bit hard to extrapolate just from hearing him say it out loud, bracket, zero, bracket, you know, what does that mean? And this is in C Sharp. So if you're not familiar with C Sharp, this is basically a way of logging variables within a string. I'm going to make a little example here and show it to you on the computer. Okay, so what we have here is this is just a simple hello world program in C Sharp. If I run this, you're going to see it prints hello world into the console. So in his example, it was printing to a log, but for simplicity's sake, let's just do it in the console so we can, you know, all easily see it in real time. So what the program said is something like the permission to, and then it was bracket zero bracket. So first, before I do that, let's just you know run this, and you can say you see that it now does print the permission to. So what happens if I write bracket zero bracket, and I run it? Well, then it prints out the bracket zero bracket, and this is what he was saying that he was seeing. Now, the reason for this is probably because someone wrote a statement such as this, but they had a different intention. So you see this bracket zero bracket is actually meant to house a variable. So I can do just say a string variable, and this was most likely describing an operation. So in C sharp, you would just do the variable type, which would be string, and then you would give it a name. I'm gonna call it op for operation. And then you set it equal to something. I'm gonna set it equal to read. Right? So now if I do this, put a little semicolon at the end, and I run it, nothing has changed. Well, there I do have a warning. Variable op is assigned, but oh, its value is never used. And that's the exact point here is that I haven't actually done what I need to do here. And this is probably something similar to what happened. So what you're supposed to do in C sharp here is do a comma and then put the variable in like this. So now if I run it, you'll see it says there is no permission to read. And this is probably what was intended to be printed into the log. Now, another thing I should mention is just because there is something printed to the log doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong with the program. Good programmers write log statements all the time. So there was probably something going on where there was you know, some kind of code that said this variable exists and if this happens, make it equal to read. If something else happens, make it equal to write. And then the log statement was supposed to go in here, and this bracket zero bracket was meant to represent whatever operation it was that the log statement needed to describe. So again, if I just get rid of this, if I forget this, even though I have read up here, it's gonna do the permission to bracket zero bracket. Okay, so what really irks me here is this was a very nice, well, you know, printed out report on, I'm sure, letterhead and all that. 
And the person that wrote the report just had no idea what they were doing, apparently. Because any programmer could have told you more or less what was going on here. First of all, the thing they fail to realize is if such a nefarious line of code were in the program somewhere, it could do what it did without logging it. That would be the obvious choice to maybe not log the bad thing you're trying to do. Beyond that, just the string itself. Anytime you see a string in a log, yes, it is generally meant for technical people, but it's not meant to be meaningless as bracket zero bracket would generally be. So basically you have someone that analyzed this that had no idea what they were doing. I don't know if they were trying to come to a conclusion or not, but the moral of the story is if you're going to analyze this stuff, make sure you have someone around that knows what they're doing.